we can add a dynamic value in a root path to render dynamic content in a same component. So let's change this word root to dynamic root. After this word pass, let's add a slash. To make the value in a pass as a dynamic value, we add a colon, then let's give it a name like ID. So this ID will be a variable can store dynamic value. In this word, let's pass this ID as a props. ID, let's give it a type i32. So this ID variable can store any integer value. Let's go to the word component. In word component, let's get this props ID, ID type i32. Let's also render the ID's value in this word component. So in this h1 element, let's render word ID clear brackets ID Let's go to the web browser. In web browser, let's visit a word component. So word slash. After this slash, we can type any integer value like 1. So press enter. You can see it will show word ID is 1. Let's change this 1 to 2. This time you can see it will show the word ID is 2. Let's change this to 5. This time it will show word ID is 5. This is how we create a dynamic router. Hope to see you next time.